bear with me here. It's probably take about five minutes. Um, set stakes up. I need some pencil. There's a pointer in here somewhere, I guess, on the finger. Stake. Far end stake. Very far end. Large drum coming straight across. As it comes straight across, I just picked it up here at this point on this stake. Not the first stake in front of me. That's whatever the other guy put there. Um, that puts us on the uh, water flowing this direction. Now, let me zoom in a little bit by walking in. As you can see, here's my string line on there. When I take that off of there, it's going to drop. And when I bring it up, of course, it, it raises the elevation. So your pitch is running towards the street there, and the rest of the balance is running over to the existing pavement. Crossing this, I'll make sure it stays on the 2% if we've just got to adjust the one little area, five foot one inch I'm posing, as you suggested, the one inch. Um, five foot one, 32 inch ears, <laughs> 32 inch ears. Um, uh, well, I'm frozen now in my brain here. 32 inch, four to one ratio. Um, so that'll be a ramp. The ramp's down here. Um, sorry, my phone's giving me a message. This, now the string is down low, and the string down here is significantly lower than over here. And as you said, uh, we can come up initially on the first five feet, and then get balanced again, going back down on the slope over there. So we'll come up. Um, we'll do what we have to do to get to, you know, meet the, the uh, two, no more than 2% up um, to uh, to get to the uh, exist, uh, the, the pad up here so we can get to the walkway and get that graded off properly so we're just running that direction and it's also running that direction as the traffic goes and as the traffic just went by. All right, what else do we have here? Finishing on this side. Um, it's the same line, the one with the green, this green on it, the green flags on it. It's the same line. It's only been pulled up at one location. Right there, the second pin in. Second pin in. Second pin. This pin I'm blocking. Okay? And let's move out. With that said, I did another string line from uh, where the radius can be seen the most or viewed the most with the string, you know, a straight line. And it wound up being right about there. So, th these boards are coming out. All these forms are coming out. They're just wrong. They're going to be wrong for what we're doing, obviously. Um, so, it does have a pitch on it. It does go down somewhat. Um, this, this guy, the string line. I'm, I'm really worried that the water is coming backwards towards me now, backwards towards us, the water is going to stand here. Um, because the street just slopes back towards where I am now. And, and that's why we had it significantly higher, trying to make sure the water flew, flowed off. At this point, um, it's going to do whatever the street does. We'll get it to the street, and it's going to do whatever the street whatever the street does. And the street right now is pushing back towards us here. And I'd almost say it's coming in here somewhere, pooling a bit. I'll have to resolve that with some final measurements. Um, you know, clarify that. Alright, so I've got a string line going from here to there. Perfectly level. Um, now to the other side. The existing ramps. Existing uh, sidewalk. Got a few strings up here. Let's see if I can get closer and get this lighting going on this. All right, so I marked off this, the uh, with the string line now, not a chalk line on this one. It's a string line marking off. Let's see if I can get this thing to focus here. The eight inch. I pull the string from there to the street, and that, that is lined up with the street. It does have a pitch on it. Um, this string, this string compared to this string, these strings here, these strings here, the next set over, go all the way across. They go all the way up to where we said we just pull a, pull a, uh, a pitch, pull a slope from there down to the street. We 
that said, it's created like a little triangle of water that's going to, it's going to run off, but it's got a little bit of a compound thing going on here that will do something like, something like that. But it's nevertheless it's still running towards the street. But that will give us a radiance curve. That's why it comes out to be a little compound. How much is it off by within that distance? I don't know. Probably only an inch and a half. And, uh, in there. So it, you know, it still falls under, you know, it's significant. I mean, a nice slope from here to here. And it's going that way also. Um, but after, once you get to here, it's all resolved. It's all resolved. Now, resolving the ramp. We've got existing earth that we have to line up with one way or another. Um, I put three string lines on. The one on the board and the backboard, that would be the, uh, the very top in our, in our view now. And they're not really like that. All right, so eight inches. That's roughly where eight inches is down from here. And then that same backboard piece is, is uh, roughly eight inches down from there to where it meets existing. Of course, that's uh, the ramp would have to fit in there along with the four to one, four to one, um, um, oh gosh, I forget what you guys call them for your landscapers, cutting grass. Um, all right, so what do I have going on here after that? That, it, that's the first line, this line here, the bottom line in our view. Is the original one going from the one side, pulled all the way down to the street. All right, so let me see if I can get this kind of level here. And then you come up approximately two to three inches or uh, yeah, two to two and a half to three and a half inches to, to get this gap, this spacing, this spacing right here between the two of them, the front and the middle line. That, that's actually the same, same string line pulled from there, the middle line, all the way out to the same post, to pit, the same pin. So, except for at this point, I elevated it, I pulled it up to get the ramp um, back in compliance, um, the handicap ramp. So that's gonna give us a little bit of a compound too when you know the, uh, when you do the asphalt, this is gonna be resolved over here and it's gonna quickly be resolved um, in the uh, field, in the driveway section. But that's just pulling it up there. That would be the straight line pulled up there to resolve it on this side, not pulled up on the other side. Um, because I've got the 8 inch to deal with. So I can't pull up anymore without uh, shortening my 8 inch curve. So, resolving it here, it, it now this second line is roughly the proposed line um, elevation. And that's going to be below our, our uh, dirt, or right about equal to our soil, existing soil. And we're going to go up, bringing that water to the driveway. And um, uh, pitches to the driveway too with the walkway no more than two percent no more than two percent towards the driveway and resolving any standing water issues that you brought to the uh, attention of the map also um, that brings us our driveway it will go from that one where I just show the strings there over to that over to the strings over there the elevation wheel tying into the existing here and existing on the street as it works its way over. That's what's going in here also tying in. Water's running um, on this side of the on this side of the post towards the dry, towards the existing um, um, parking lot. And from this post to the existing parking lot. Following your rules, uh, your information telling me that uh, there is no just one water runoff. There is no set and fast rule on on eighth inch. You know, it almost can be flat uh, running, but we're not flat here. We are getting some. Uh, we are we will get some water movement. Okay, some flow, and of course we've got the ramp over there that's going to pitch towards again, pitch towards the street, and pitch towards the driveway, and then off at the five foot away start pitching back towards the uh, existing, the new the uh, new driveway, the new walkway, five foot walkway, which would be uh, five foot wide, five foot one, 
and it will be two and a half feet roughly from each side of the uh, of the um, 10 foot uh, proposed walkway. So it's only going to be five foot wide inside that 10 foot proposed walkway area. Thank you.